All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahushah, Ba'ashem Rakak with Dash. want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And this is it, Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. Okay. I want to go on this topic of um, <clears throat> Psalm 65 and 5. By terrible things and righteousness will thou answer us okay and basically how the lord is going to do terrible things in righteousness okay now i'm gonna let the scripture speak for itself okay um but i'm gonna get the definition for uh indic indignant okay i want an indignation Okay, but indignant is feeling or showing anger or annoyance at what is perceived as unfair treatment. Okay. And um, there's a lot of unfair treatment in this world, you know, as it uh, stands. Okay. I've never seen this movie, but might have to check it out. Uh, movie indignation okay but anger or annoyance provoked by what is perceived as unfair treatment okay so um this is indignation okay because um the unrighteousness that's in this world the lord is going to do many terrible things okay to those who oppose his word okay um, it says, O Yahweh O God of our salvation, who art the confidence of all the ends of the earth and of them that are afar up off upon the sea. Okay. So the video that I'm about to do or go into, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Simeon with Das. This is edifying, but, you know, I wanted to uh, go in on the terrible things and righteousness, okay? So, Isaiah 26 and 20, it says, Come, my people, enter thou into thy chambers, or ent you, enter you into your chambers, and shut your doors about you. Hide yourself, as it were, for a little moment. Until the indignation be overpassed. Okay, once again, that indignation is that righteous anger. Okay. Za'am. Za okay. Indign anger or indignation. Rage. Um, especially of God's displeasure with sin. Okay, fury. Okay. Until the indignation be overpassed, for behold, the Lord comes out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity. The earth also shall di disclose her blood and so no more cover her slain. Because um, America was built on the blood, sweat, and tears of our people. Okay? And, um... The scriptures go into that Habakkuk 2 and 12. Woe to him that builds a town with blood and establishes a city with iniquity. Okay, America is that town that was built with blood. Okay, and um, unrighteousness. Okay, so um, the indignation, you know, uh, that um, the Lord has for this place. You know, it's righteous because the, the uh, so-called white man thinks that they are God. Okay. <coughs> Psalms 78 and 49. He cast upon them the fierceness of his anger, wrath, and indignation and trouble. Okay. Um, what's that? Isaiah... 31 and uh 
3. Now the Egyptians are men and not God, and their horses flesh and not spirit. When the Lord shall stretch out his hand, both he that helpeth shall fall, and he that is hoping shall fall down. And they shall all fail they shall they all shall fail together. Okay? So all these people who oppose the Lord, he's gonna show you that you're not you're not a god. Okay, the so called white man think that they're they're God, he's gonna destroy them. Okay, for that thinking. You know, setting themselves up as, as if they're God and uh deceiving the whole world, okay? With with his anger, because he's angry every day, okay, his wrath, okay, outpouring, okay, um, I believe that's I Ibarra, Ibarra, okay, uh. Yeah, I I borrow. Okay, out outpouring, overflow, excess, fury, wrath, arrogance. Overflow, excess, outburst, arrogance, overflowing rage, or fury. And the the the, the death that is about to come. Okay, the the terribleness that is about to start happening. It's gonna be over. It's gonna be over access, man. You know, it's gonna be overflowing. It's gonna be like God dag, like you know, all these people are being killed. You know, and people are gonna know that it's the Most High that's doing it. It says by sending evil angels among them. Okay, by sending evil angels among them. Okay, and that goes into this scripture, Revelation seven and one. And after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living power. Yahweh by me outside. He cried with a loud voice to the four angels, to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees. Till we have sealed the servants of God, Yahweh by some Yahweh saw in their foreheads. Okay, and then it goes on, and I heard the number of them that were sealed, and there were sealed a hundred and forty and four thousand of all I mean of all the tri the tribes of, of the children of Israel. Okay. So um when those um those um Servants of silk, you know, those angels are going to, um, you know, be letting loose, man. You know, you're going to have uh, tsunamis and um, earthquakes is the, the, the scriptures go into um, in Matthew 24 about uh, all the um, the things that are about to happen, man. Okay, earth, earthquakes in diverse places, famines, pestilences, okay. There's going to be a lot of people dying, okay? Martial law, okay? There's going to be a lot of people dying, man, okay? It's going to be a terrible uh, sight to see. The Lord, Jeremiah 30, 50 and 25, the Lord has opened up his armory and has brought forth the weapons of his indignation. And what's those weapons? Them thermonuclear missiles. For this is the work of the Lord God of hosts in the land of the Chaldeans. Okay, this is the land of the Chaldeans right here, right now, today, modern Babylon the Great. Okay. Um <clears throat> This is uh Nahum one and five. The mountains quake at him, and the hills melt, and the earth is burnt at his presence. Yea, the world and all that dwell in therein. Who can stand before his indignation? And who can abide in his fear in the fierceness of his anger? His fury is poured out like fire, and the rocks are thrown down by his side. The Lord is good, a, a stronghold in the day of trouble. Because when this stuff happens, man, like it says, who can stand who can stand in between that, man? 
See, your thing is you want to be on the right side, and we don't know whether or not we on we in the um, Lord's grace. We 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 believe and we have faith that we are the, the you know those men us here at Great Millstone, but you know we don't know whether or not we are the elect. So we gotta endure until the end. Okay, it's the scriptures say. Um. Matthew twenty four and thirteen, but he that he that shall endure until the end, the same shall be saved. So we hope that we we're 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 those good um men, okay, that um that the Lord knows, okay, that um he's gonna answer us in righteousness, okay, by destroying our uh our enemies, which are his enemies, okay, at the end of the day. Is Zephaniah 3 and 8. Therefore wait ye upon me, saith the Lord, until the day that I rise up to the prey. For my determination is to gather the nations that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them mine indignation. Okay, and this is World War 3, man. Okay. Even all my fierce anger. All of it. Okay, the Lord is just going to let loose, man. And ain't nobody going to be able to stop him. Why, why should anybody stop him? You know? Why should they? Because this this is uh, all uh, uh, worthy, man. You know, it's all worthy. For, for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. Because ain't nobody out here in this world serving the Lord the right way. Except for the Israelites, the ones that great most don't got the right doctrine. And then you got other, you know, brothers out here sprinkled uh, in uh, other camps or, you know, doing the work, okay, the, the right way in truth and sincerity, okay. You got Jeremiah 49 and 12. For thus saith the Lord, behold, they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup have assuredly drunken. And art thou he that shall altogether go unpunished? For all the stuff that the so-called white man did, you think he's just going to go unpunished? Thou shalt not go unpunished, but thou shalt surely drink of it. And the Lord ain't trying to hear none of that. Oh, that, was, that wasn't me who, who, who had people in slavery. You know, he ain't trying to hear none of that. Okay? Because it was you. Okay? For I have sworn by myself, save the Lord, that Basra... Which is uh, 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 Edomite capital, okay? Which that's America, so become a desolation, a reproach, a waste, and a curse, and all the cities thereof shall be perpetual waste, okay? Every city, okay? From from New York to to, to uh, all throughout the, the the East Coast, okay? Chicago. Wherever in, in, in Texas and um, California, okay. Um, w even if you're in Idaho or whatever, man, okay, it's all gonna be a perpetual waste, man, because this this whole place gotta be destroyed and turned into a desert, okay. So, um, I believe that's Isaiah 13. Where it talks about the the um the desert. Um Isaiah thirteen and uh nineteen and Babylon the glory of kingdoms, the beauty of Chaldees, of the Chaldees excellency shall be as when God overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. And what did when when God overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah? What happened? He rained down on them. Okay, and that's what's going to happen. He's going to rain down them thermonuclear missiles on this society. Okay, it says it shall never be inhabited, neither shall it be dwelt in from generation to generation. Neither shall the Arabian pitch tent there. Neither shall the shepherds make their fold there. Because there's a lot of people out here that are getting rich off of the uh, children of Israel. When the Lord himself is supposed to be getting rich. Okay? With the the, the um with his people. 
You know, now he's rich because his his um his his men are are likened onto gold. Okay, because he know who his real who his real men are. It says, but wild beasts of the desert shall lie there, and their houses shall be full of doleful creatures, and the owl shall dwell there, and the satyrs shall dance there, and the wild beasts of the island shall cry in their desolate houses, and the dragons in their pleasant palaces, and her time is near come, and her days shall not be prolonged. So when America is destroyed and all these cities are, are made waste, these animals... They're gonna they're gonna be in palaces and you know they're gonna they're gonna love it, man. In those places where they are, man. You know? And this is this is a part of the terribleness, terrible things that, that's gonna happen, man. Cause all this stuff as we know it is gonna be wiped away. Okay? That smart TV that you got, that 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 nice phone, okay, them them, them Jordans you may have or whatever you may like, okay? All that stuff is going to be wiped away, okay? And um, the, the the men of the Lord, okay, in Psalm 64, 5 and 4, Blessed is the man whom thou choosest and causes to approach unto you, that he may dwell in your courts. We shall be satisfied with the goodness of your house, even of your holy temple, okay? So the men of the Lord are going to be uh, blessed, man, because the Lord chose them. To, to, to be saved from out of this hell. Okay. So with that man. Lord willing this was edifying. I want to say shalom.